Okay, let's see if we can go ahead and get you to understand the quadratic formula in about seven minutes. So this video is not going to be exactly seven minutes. It's probably going to uh, go a little bit longer. But if you stick with me, you're going to learn a lot about the quadratic formula in a short period of time. So before we get going, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And if you're studying the quadratic formula, um, that means that you're studying quadratic functions. So I'm going to assume that you're probably in some sort of algebra, one class, algebra two, college algebra. That's likely uh, the person that's watching this video. But if you're studying the quadratic formula, again, you're studying quadratic functions. So um, you want to make sure you understand the larger topic of quadratic functions, not just quadratic formula. So when we finish with this video, um, you got to make sure you can tie this into the rest of the topics that are a part of quadratic functions. So I'm going to leave a link to my Algebra 1 uh, course in the description of this video. All my courses are super comprehensive. I have a full, complete uh, chapter on quadratic functions to include the quadratic formula. I go over how to solve every type of problem you're likely going to encounter. Uh, i walk you through it step by step. So if you need more help beyond this video, check that out. But let's get into uh, trying to understand the quadratic formula in seven minutes. Okay, so when we're dealing with quadratic equations, okay, and I'm going to kind of make an assumption here that you already know some something about quadratic equations and how to solve them. So when we're um, looking to solve quadratic equations, it all depends. Uh, what we're going to do it all depends on the type of equation we're dealing with. Okay, so for example, this is a quadratic equation because we have an x squared right here in it, right? So all these equations, this has an x squared. Again, I only have seven minutes or so, so I'm kind of assuming that um, you know you know something about this. Now here, if I multiply these two binomials together, I'm going to end up with something with the x squared in it. So when you have a polynomial and the highest term has an x squared in it, you're dealing with a quadratic equation. Okay, so these are kind of different flavors, if you will, of quadratic equations. So here I have one type, here I have another type, and here is even another type. All of these scenarios we're going to approach a little bit differently. Here I would not use uh, the quadratic formula. Okay, this is really simple. Okay, I, I'm not going to actually even solve this. Well, let's solve it real quick. Okay, here I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 2. I get x squared is equal to 5. Now I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So x is going to be equal to positive negative square root of 5. So remember that when you're solving quadratic equations, you're going to end up with two solutions. So here's my two solutions. Now here, I can solve this by factoring, okay? And this guy here is a trinomial that's already factored. So I would just take these two factors, set them both individually equal to zero and solve, okay? You always want to um, approach solving quadratic equations um, with the easiest techniques, and these are the easiest techniques. Now, when you're stuck and you don't, you cannot factor a quadratic equation, okay, then you want to go ahead and use the quadratic formula. So the first thing in understanding the quadratic formula is you, you want to use it in the right situation. I would never use a quadratic formula to solve something I could factor, okay? Now, there's something called completing the square that uh, you may have learned... Um, uh, you should have learned by now. If you haven't learned it, you're likely going to learn it here really soon. This is kind of like the long way of doing the quadratic formula. Okay, so this is really not, let's say, a practical approach to solving quadratic equations, but it's something you definitely need to understand because it comes up in more advanced mathematics. Okay, so with that being said, let's actually learn the quadratic formula real quick. So let's say I'm going to just make something up. I have something like x squared plus 9x minus 2 equal to 0, okay? So here I have my nice quadratic equation, okay? Again, we can recognize it has an x squared as its highest power. It's a polynomial. And I'm like, oh, boy, I can't factor it. What do I need to do? Well, you only have one choice here to solve this guy, and that is to use the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula is super powerful because... You know, we have a method to, to solve this polynomial um, equation, okay, by just plugging it into a formula. 
we're not so you know lucky with other things in in uh, mathematics. So let's go ahead and just write the formula down. It says x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. All right, this is something that you should commit to memory. Okay, so this is the quadratic formula. And if you notice here, we have b, okay, as a variable. We also have a, okay, and let's use another color here. We also have c, okay? So really, the whole idea here is to know what is our a value, what is our b value, what is our c value. As long as we know what these are, what this becomes then is basically just plug in, all right, plug in, and then the rest is going to be very carefully doing kind of like the order of operations and working through this, okay? Now, I could tell you right now, the easy part is really knowing what the ABC values are. I'm going to go ahead and show you this in a second. But uh, once you know what the ABC values are and you plug them in to the quadratic formula, of course, this is the quadratic formula, where a lot of times students mess up is not knowing what the ABC values are. It's kind of the basic math, okay? The basic math that a lot of students take for granted, dealing with negative numbers, you know, fractions and squares and square roots and stuff. So here is where you have to really go step by step by step by step by step by step, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm kind of giving you the structure, the overview, how to solve um, quadratic equations, but you need to have um, basic skills as well, okay? Basic math skills. Now, again, I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video to my algebra course. I solve many, 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 um, and demonstrate how to solve many, many types of quadratic equations to, you know, how to use a quadratic formula. So um, you're going to need practice in that if you need to see a lot of solutions, which you are going to need to look at in order to really master this stuff, then you want to check that out. So let's go ahead and get into this a little bit further. Okay. All right. So here is my equation, right? So I decided this cannot be a factor, so I'm going to have to use a quadratic formula. All right, so x squared plus 9x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, notice I have this written what we call standard form. I have the x squared first, then I have the x next, and then I have the number last, okay? So this is what we call standard form. And then the value in front of the variables is called the coefficient. So here I have x squared so that's really a 1x squared. So this is going to be our a value. So whatever is in front of the x squared is our a. So a is 1. Okay, whatever is in front of the uh, x value is b. b is 9. And then our number here is going to be our c value. So c is going to be equal to negative 2. Okay. All right. So at this point, once you know what your a, b, c values are, you're simply going to go ahead and plug in your respective a B and C values into the formula. So let's go ahead and do that now. So X is going to be equal to minus B. Okay, I'm doing this part here. So minus 9, okay, plus or minus the square root of B squared. So that's going to be 9 squared minus 4 times A. A is 1 times C, and that's going to be a negative 2. All over this whole thing, 2 times a, which is going to be 2 times 1. All right, so this is the correct setup. Now, everything is going to be up to you, all right, and kind of working this problem down. So I want to keep this uh, video short. I don't even know if I'm at 7 minutes, 10 minutes. The whole main idea is this. At this point, if you had the setup right, if you don't get this problem correct, it's because you made a little error, okay? And that is not really a quadratic formula challenge, that's a focus problem, okay? And this is where most students kind of mess up, is they lose focus, they're not neat, they don't show each step. So if you concentrate and go really slow, and you understand, obviously, the setup and the bigger picture of what it means to solve a quadratic equation, then you're going to be able to get these problems right every time, okay? And of course, this is a basic problem, but, uh, you know, with anything, you do need a lot of uh, a lot more practice in this, okay? So it's important that when we learn something like the quadratic formula, that you learn it in the correct context of how to use it, okay, or what it means. 
All right, so it's going to wrap up this video. Um, hopefully, you know, you enjoy this. Uh, if you like my teaching style, I've been on YouTube for many, many years, have tons of videos that can help you out. So hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I'm posting math videos all the time. If you like the video, definitely appreciate it. a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. What course are you in? Are you in Algebra 1, Algebra 2, or maybe some other course where you have to learn um, uh, about quad the quadratic formula? And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and leave um, that link to my Algebra course. All my courses are com super comprehensive. I actually teach more of my courses than I even teach in, in, in school. Okay, so if you really need a lot of help or need to just learn this from the, you know, uh, from the basics on up, everything you need to know about algebra, you definitely want to check out my course. But I'll leave the link again uh, in the description of my video. But with that being said, I would definitely wish you all the best and have a great day.